Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I am very, very, very excited about today's video. Actually, I'm just very excited in general because tomorrow I'm going away to Hamilton Island just for a short little trip and I'm just in the midst of packing and I thought this is no better time to show you what I'm taking with me on my travels in my makeup and skincare bag. So if you're interested in seeing what skincare and makeup products I'm bringing along with me, then strap in, grab a cup of tea and keep watching. So let's go through the skincare products first. As you will see, a lot of these products that I'm bringing with me are very small, petite, mini, and I've strategically picked those products because I like to have as much space in my luggage as possible, and I don't wanna be lugging around any unnecessary big things with me if I don't have to. So if I can downsize or compact it into something smaller, I definitely will. Also, when I'm traveling, I like to keep my skincare routine as minimal as possible. When I'm at home, I like to indulge and do the whole 10 step skincare routine thing. But on my travels, I definitely don't have the time to do that, nor the luggage space to. So I like to condense everything and find more multifunctional skincare products and makeup products. So for cleanser, of course, you know, I'm going to bring my CeraVe hydrating cleanser. This is 473 mils, which is way too big for me to bring with me. So I've dispensed some out into this little tube. I just bought this from Daiso. I think you buy it in a pack of two or three and they're very convenient. It's just like a squeezy tube and this is plenty for a four day trip, which is how long I'm going for. So plenty in there for day and night cleansing. I probably won't be wearing makeup most of the time, but in the case that I do, I like to double cleanse. And you guys know I love to double cleanse with an oil or a balm. I am bringing this little guy with me. This is so damn cute. It is the pore cleansing balm from Hand Skin. This is the mini size that we sell on our website, but it is just the perfect size for travel. And there is plenty in there for a few nights. I also use the cleansing oil and I love both products equally, but I'm just picking the balm because it's so much easier for travel. Travel's much better as a solid as opposed to the oil, which can be more prone to leakage. In my usual routine, I would go in with a couple of toners and essence, but in this case, I'm just gonna scrap the toners just because I don't wanna risk any of that leakage during travel. And I feel like I can live without a toner for four days. Instead, I will take an essence. This is also the mini size hand skin essence that we have on our website, as well as a hyaluronic acid serum. So these will be my two main hydrating skincare products. As you can see, I really like to load up on hydration when I'm traveling. When you're traveling, you get really dehydrated, you're drinking less water than usual, and if you're going somewhere a bit more dry and hot like I am, it can really suck the life out of your skin. So we need to replenish our skin with as much hydration as possible. So these will be my go-to hydration products. Moisturizers. So day moisturizer, I will take this guy, which is the Vitamin C Glow Capsule Lotion by Hand Skin. Also in the mini size, you can see a theme going here with all the minis. This is a 15 mil moisturizer, which is perfect for four days. But I've chosen this one because it is a lotion. It's more lightweight in texture. It works really well with my combination dehydrated skin type, especially if I'm going again somewhere a bit more dry and hot. I've also strategically chosen this one as a two in one where I don't have to pack my vitamin C serum and also another moisturizer on top. This one does contain vitamin C inside. The vitamin C is actually encapsulated in here. I'm getting the moisturizing benefits as well as the glowy antioxidant benefits from the vitamin C in here. For nighttime, I like something a bit more thicker and richer so that I know my barrier is protected overnight. So I'm taking with me the CeraVe moisturizing cream. This is what I use every night in my skincare routine, but of course I'm not gonna be lugging around 340 grams. This is a huge tub. It's gonna take heaps of space in my luggage. So once again, I've decanted it into something smaller. This is just like an old eye cream jar, an empty one, which I've repurposed into pretty much a mini version of this one. How cute is that? But it's just the perfect size. I've just filled it to the brim and it's going to give me more than enough for the three nights. And finally, we cannot forget the SPF. I've just checked what the UV levels are gonna be like in the next few days, and it is so high. So I know I'm just gonna be reapplying sunscreen every couple of hours, especially if I'm gonna be in the water as well. I'm taking with me my trusty Mecca Cosmetica to save face SPF 50 plus face sunscreen. I recently purchased this full size version after trialing and testing out the small version and I fell in love with it. It's super light, silky smooth, leaves a matte finish, which is what I like. So this is definitely coming with me in my bag. So that's literally it for skincare. It's a really condensed version of my current skincare routine. Also forgot to mention the other two products, which aren't really skincare. 
all kind of skincare products. I'm bringing with me this Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. This is the smaller size, so there is a bigger one, but I am taking this one with me because look how cute it is. And as we mentioned where we tried this product for the first time and reviewed it in our Mecca video, it is multifunctional. So it works as a body butter as well as a fragrance. So I can literally slather this all over my body and know that it's being nourished and hydrated but also that I smell like vanilla caramel all day, every day. I can literally rely on this to be my fragrance. There's no need for me to bring a whole fragrance bottle with me, which is also more prone to leakage. And of course you need a lip balm. I've chosen this one in particular, the Blistex Lip Conditioning Balm, because it does contain SPF 30 and we know we're gonna protect our lips when the sun is out and the UV is high. So I'm gonna be reapplying this like there's no tomorrow. I've been using Blistex since high school. It's just a reliable lip balm that does the job. Some other miscellaneous things that I'm gonna be chucking in my bag is is this Just Kind Co reusable makeup pad. I have been using this to death. It is so handy and I know it's gonna be extra handy during travel. It takes off cleanser like a dream, especially when I'm double cleansing. There's nothing worse than cleansing your face at the sink and having water or cleansing residue drip down the sides of your arms and onto your elbows that just gives me the ick. And this definitely eliminates that. It's just so efficient at removing cleanser, there's no messiness, it's super soft as well, and it dries really quickly. I'm also bringing these Vush You Do You pocket size intimate wipes, cause hey, you never know. I feel like every girl needs baby wipes, intimate wipes, whatever wipes with them on their travels, especially in this cute little travel size. And hair care, I don't know if I will be washing my hair, I might go without washing my hair, but if I do, I don't wanna be lugging around huge shampoo and conditioner bottles. I just wanna be taking it off for one wash. So this is why these little sachets are super, super handy. These are the Purology shampoo and conditioner sachets. These were just thrown in in some of my skincare orders. I can't remember where it was from, maybe Adore Beauty but I have the Strength and Cure and also the Hydrate option here. I think I will go with the Hydrate because my hair is feeling quite dry. How good is this? 10 ml each of the shampoo and conditioner, perfect for one wash. Can throw out the packet when I'm done. Don't need to be bringing back bottles with me as well. And if I do feel like a hair mask, I've been doing more hair mask than usual because of how bleached and damaged my hair is. This is the perfect size for that. This is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Weightless Mask. I've used this once and it made my hair really smooth and silky and soft. After you shampoo, you chuck this in and you leave it in for five minutes and then you rinse it out. And it's a nice slim little tube as well. So it fits perfectly in my bag. Moving on to makeup products. Again, I feel like I won't be wearing that much makeup on this trip because it's gonna be hot and humid and I just really don't like wearing makeup in that kind of weather and I feel like I don't need to. But in the case that I do, say we go out for dinner or something, I have brought the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. This is a staple in my makeup kit, one of my all time favorite foundations. I'm bringing this one because the formula and consistency of this particular foundation is really runny. So it applies on very, very lightweight, but it still gives me that coverage that I need. My skin still feels like it can breathe. It applies on silky smooth blends in like a dream and is just a perfect everyday foundation. For concealer, I'm just bringing one. This is great because I can conceal and highlight any certain areas, cover any pigmentation that I want. I use it as an eyeshadow primer. It's just a multifunctional concealer and it's a hydrating formula as well. Powder, I feel like I won't be powdering that much, but my T-zone always needs a bit of a powder. So we can't go without our trusty translucent powder from Laura Mercier. I felt like I could condense this into something smaller, so I did transfer it into this cute little powder jar. I think, again, this is from Daiso as well. It's pretty much almost the same packaging as this one, but just shorter, skinnier, slimmer, fits into the bag a bit better. This is a bit more chunky. Hula bronzer. I chose Hula because everyone knows this is a cult favorite. It's a perfect bronzing shade that I can use on my cheekbones to bronze up the whole face as eyeshadow. Very multifunctional. Bringing some MAC Give Me Sun for that extra sun-kissed look. For blush, I've chosen this super travel friendly Clay Cosmetics Melting Lip Powder. Yes, it is a lip powder, but you can also use it on your eyes and on your cheeks, which is, works just as beautifully. It's such a great innovative formula. This is actually not the full size. It is the mini size. We don't sell these. We only give these away as samples. So if you want one, let us know and we can definitely send you one over. But I'm taking with me the shade Lady Guava. This is just the perfect light pink, a touch of peachiness. This is so tiny, but it's the perfect travel size. For an extra bit of glow, of course, the mini hourglass ambient lighting powder in luminous light. 
just to dust all over the face for a really glowy complexion. Mascara, of course. I've got the L'Oreal Telescopic. This is an all-time favorite. An eyeliner, just in case. This is the Ofa Verified Liquid Liner. This is a very super pigmented eyeliner that gives you a really sharp wing. It's like the blackest of black as well. For brows, the Morphe Micro Brow Pencil in Cold Brew. And for lips, I think I'm just gonna go very neutral on this trip, so I've just chosen two lip liners. I've got Sweet Tea and Backseat Love by Morphe here. No lipsticks, just lip liner and gloss over the top. So this is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in Ice. This is a great gloss because it works really well on either of these shades of lip liners. It's pretty much like a clear gloss with a tinge of pink, so it's the perfect topper for any lip. And that is it. That's all I'm taking with me on my travels, guys. I'm really only going for four days anyway, so it's not going to be anything huge. If I was going somewhere for like a week or two, I would take like an actual makeup case with me. But this is generally what I would be taking with me on a short trip for a few days away, somewhere tropical like Hamilton Island. There is a very strong mini theme here. So I'm taking very small compact products, but also multifunctional products with me as well to save not only time, but also that luggage space, which I'm sure we all need to fill with other things. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please be sure to give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Click the notification bell so you know when we upload videos next, we upload every week. Let me know down in the comments below what products you take with you on your travels. But until then, I will see you next time. Bye.